Thank you uh, for joining, guys. Uh, so today I want to talk about a few indicators that you can make use of uh, on PC or on a desktop, which is uh, auto fib, auto uh, trend line as well as moving average. So you see that if you don't have a PC or if you don't have a laptop, then it's fine. I'm going to also upload other videos uh, talking about explaining how you can use uh, indicators on your mobile to execute trades uh, from your mobile. So don't worry if you don't have a PC or if you don't have a laptop. But um, I'm going to put these indicators in the description below. So I'm going to put a link to where you can download the indicators from. So it's very easy to install. And yeah, I'm very sorry that the screen is going to be looking so, uh, so busy. But it's because of the indicators that I have there. And it's going to be like that, unfortunately that you can change. Guys, if it is your first time being on this channel, uh, or if you have been visiting this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, then we say, please, can you subscribe to the channel? Um, and also, we really appreciate your support. To all those who have subscribed already, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to like the videos when you're enjoying the videos, and also, don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Okay, guys. Um, as I was um, about to start recording, so I had crashed 1000 and I was in minus 10 USD and it just spiked from 10 USD to positive uh, 9 USD and now it's uh, coming back again, now it's on 8 USD. But let me explain why I took the trade on crash, why I took the trade on boom and also why I took a trade on step index. Um, I also had an opportunity to take a trade on uh, V75, but the other rule, guys, is don't overtrade. If you overtrade, you end up losing in the market. No matter how much you analyze, no matter what the indicator is saying, don't overtrade or don't uh, use huge lot sizes, which your account can handle. All right. Now, first, um, crash 1000. Crash 1000, the reason why I took it is a lot, a lot of reasons. So first, if we come up to four hour time frame, right? So the three indicators that I spoke about, the first one is the moving, um, sorry, the auto trend line, which is this red line going up and this blue line here. So every time when it gives us a cross like this, then you check where the price is. So like in this case, if price was still here, where it was consolidating a lot, then we don't know where it's going to go, either above or below. So we'll just wait and see. But now that price went below this red line. It's an indication that price is going to sell. So it, which is the first reason why I took a sell there on Crash 1000, right? The second reason, if we come down to one hour time frame, then we can also see that price as well, like I just mentioned, was consolidating a little bit here and then it seemed like it wanted to go up and then it spiked coming below this red line which is the reason why i took a sell and then it went against me until minus 10 there and then now it spiked coming down so i'm still expecting price to continue coming down from that level so first it's because of this cross that happened so on four hour time frame there's a cross on one hour time frame, there is as well cross. And as we can see now on five, uh, 30 minutes time frame, there's still a cross. So all these getting uh, like more crosses gives you more um, more indication to say, okay, it's, it's, it's a bit confirmed that it's going to sell. So we don't just end there. It's, that's not all. The second thing then I looked at is the Fibonacci the auto fib so if we see when price was coming down right unfortunately i don't have something to highlight now i don't have a pen to highlight here but i'm just going to use my mouse so guys when price was coming from up here all the way down here then it's turned so you see this fib all these indicators the fibonacci and the the auto uh, trend line. 
it keeps moving as the price moves. It keeps changing, guys. So you should know that when it's moving, it's not... You, you, need, to, you need to try it on demo first to understand how it works. So let me give an example. When price was here, obvious this 0, zero was also here. And then as price was coming down, it kept continue coming down. So it wasn't confirmed yet to say, okay, this is our zero level. Until price started turning and buying going up, then definitely that zero level stopped. Right where the price turned, then it stopped there. Only then, then you say, okay, where is now the price going back to? Then it went back to the 50 level, which is here. Only then, that's when we say, okay, now we are using the FIB. So by the time it was moving, coming down, you can't start saying, okay, now it's on zero level because it wasn't confirmed that the price is now reversing. Until it started reversing, then this zero will stop moving and then it retraced to whatever level it retraced to. So at this point, it retraced to 50 level, which I expect price to turn either 38, 50 or 61. If it breaks 61, then it's, it's, I won't take that trade. But at this point, it turned at 50, which I was happy. And then it started coming back again on 38. And then it spiked coming down, which is the reason why I took a sell here. And then it was going up and then it spiked coming down. And I'm going to continue holding that sell. Right. So first, we spoke about uh, the auto trend. There's a cross. It went below the cross. The first reason. Second, auto fib. It's saying when price was coming down, it retraced to level 50. And then it started coming down again, which was also another reason for me to take a sell. The moving average also helps me remember when price is above the moving average. Then we are looking on buys. When price is below the moving average, we are looking at sells. So at this point, the price came from above the moving average, below, came back to test the blue moving average and started falling again, which also gave me an indication to say price might start selling from now on. Then, lastly, if we had to use price action, you can see that price was going up. It came here. It created this uh, support. So it went up, test, went up, came back to test, went up, came back and broke this support, came back to test it as a resistant. And then it started coming down, which is also another reason for me to sell. So you can see how many reasons I had for me to take that sell. First, the auto, the auto trend crossed. Second, the auto fib retraced on 50 uh, level. And now the moving average price was also below the moving average. And price came back to test the resistance if we had to use price action. Those are the reasons why I took crash 1000. Now let's talk about why I took step index. Step index uh, at this point... Um, it's, it was busy consolidating the whole time. Uh, let's see what will happen. But the reason why I took step index, guys, I was supposed to take step index first when price was here. Just here. So what happened is um, I was looking at step index and then it gave me a cross, which was here. Uh, the other one was coming from this side. So price went outside of this cross, came back to test it, as it was going up, I was supposed to take a buy there. But then I'm recording this from work. And um, I was busy. I got busy. So I couldn't I couldn't take that buy because I don't want to take a trade and then not look at it to see how is it reacting. I need to keep my eye on my trades. So I couldn't um, I couldn't take that trade, but it was a good buy opportunity at that point. But anyway, if uh, another trade, we miss it, we, might, we shouldn't cry. Now, when price was buying the whole time, this is all what I've missed out. But then when price got here, why did I still take a buy here? Now, if we go up to one hour time frame, at that point, this cross wasn't even here anyway. This cross was below here. So remember, like I told you, it keeps moving. This cross was below here, somewhere below here. 
which was also a good opportunity to take a buy, which I missed. But then now, the price came up and the cross changed again. It came and crossed here, giving us this opportunity to say, guys, I'm above the cross. There's opportunities for buy, which is the reason why I took a buy. Now, for someone, you can be scared to take that buy saying, yeah, there's this level which is support, price might return and come down. I mean resistance, but with the confirmation of this move, um, the auto trend line, I saw a clear buy. The other reason why I also took a buy is because if you check here, price was going up. It came back to test this 50 level. Guys, you know how powerful is 50 level and 38 level. So it came down to test the 50 level and then it started going up again. So which was a good confirmation to say step index is going to buy, which is the reason why I took a buy and you can see that buy is doing very well. That buy is doing really, really well. All right. Now let's look at Boom 1000. Why did I take Boom 1000? Um, I was... Uh, okay, it's still there. All right. Um, I wanted to take another sell. You know... Okay, let me leave for now. Let me not take another sell. But I'm looking at taking another sell on Boom 1000. I'll explain why now. On Boom 1000, um, if we go up to a higher time frame, so we can see that price uh, tried to break going out of this trend line and then it failed. It gave us two rejections here. These two rejections that were given here was... My first, these two, uh, two, two rejections that were given here was my first indication to say boom 1000 is going to sell, which was on a higher time frame. So it might sell back to this red line and go up, or it might sell and come and break. Everything is possible, but even if it sell until this red line, then I'll get out with good profits. Right now I've got three running trades and we are looking at 123 98 and 86 which is quite good right if we come down to one hour time frame then you can see clearly now how it crossed this x here on one hour time frame so it crossed the x but i entered these trades before it crossed the x and you might ask why because if we come down to one hour time frame uh, to 15 minutes time frame there was a cross here, right here. There was a cross, which was the reason why I took, um, which was the reason why I took a sell. So my first sell entry was here, and then it spiked going up. Then I added uh, more entries, and then it started coming down. So you see, guys, how powerful the X is. And like I told you, it keeps moving according to where the price is. So the X was here, which is the reason why I took the, uh, the sell, and then it disappeared because price started continuing coming down and then it disappeared. But I'm already in that trade. Now if you come down to one hour time frame, it's confirming that I'm going to continue going down. So for me, I will hold that sell going all the way down. Now guys, talking about um, autofib. So now we're talking about cross, the reason why I took a sell. And then moving average also confirmed, look on four hour time frame, how the moving average is confirming that price is going to continue moving below. The price is moving below the moving average. And even if you go to one hour time frame, the price is also moving below the moving average, which is the reason why I took a sell and I'm expecting that price to continue going down because you can see how one hour is confirming that price is selling. And look at uh, the cross that happened on 30 minutes. It's also a very good one to say its price is going to sell. See how step index is moving. See how beautiful step index is moving. Now you get to understand how powerful 
is this um, is these indicators. So if you wanna make use um, of these indicators, if you wanna use these indicators, the description below, I'm gonna put a link to where you can download the the indicators from. And if you have any questions, uh, please ask in the comment section below. And please, I beg you, don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to like the videos. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna end this video here and I'm going to upload also other videos talking about the indicators that you can use on your phone if you don't have a desktop or if you don't have a laptop. Thank you so much.